Get the picture, Tussie? No little finger. When strangers talk to me, they call me Tanuvasa. In your language, it means chief. But we're not strangers, Tussie. And that is an old Samoan custom, isn't it? When a messenger arrives from a rival chief and the news he brings isn't what you want to hear, you kill him, cut off his little finger and send it back to the rival chief as a warning? Where's McCoy's little pinky? In an airmail envelope on the way to Big Uncle in Miami? I do not practice the superstitions of my ancestors, McGarren. I did not kill that man. Also, I have lawyers, and now I would like to call them. You have lawyers? Big Uncle has soldiers. He winds them up, points them, says kill, and they kill. What good are lawyers going to be to a dead man? How many soldiers does he have, McGarren? Hmm? As many as I have cousins and brothers? Are you going to arrest me, McGarrett? Not a chance. I'm not going to do you any favors. Oh, to arrest me would be a favor. That's right. In jail, you're safe. Out on the street, you'd never know when one of Big Uncle's infantry is going to pick you up. Now, when that finger gets back to Miami, you're a marked man, Tessie. Think about it. Okay, Chief, you can go. Oh, uh, in order to aid the man that you will send to follow me, I'll go at once to my bowling alley. I'll not go visit that stupid jab or that uh, powdery Chinaman or the gook slob. Wait a minute. This is Hawaii, USA. It's time for your English lesson. Repeat slowly after me. Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Now, you know what you can do with your English lesson, McGarren. Everybody count your fillings. Are those lizard shoes he wears, or does he go barefooted? <laughs> so it's a declaration of war. You heard him. Does Big Uncle have more soldiers than he has brothers and cousins? Well, they're not going to turn this island into their battlefield. Jen, what do you hear from the lab? <laughs> 